Let's see some fun. If I look at this logarithmic equation right here. One of the things I want us to note is that we do have the same base for these logs. And since it's addition, that means I can do what with their insides? That can become multiplication. So log with the base 2 of the product of x plus 3 times x plus 4. And that equals 1. Now, I, I don't really like the way this guy is written because I've got a log on one side, but I don't have a log on the other side. But you know what I can do? Do you remember that loopy loo? What does a loopy loo say? 2 to the first power is equal to x plus 3 times x plus 4. I know how to do that one. Do you? It should be quadratic, right? 2 equals what? x squared plus 7x plus 12. x squared plus 7x plus 12, which means 0 equals x squared plus 7x plus 10. It's quadratic. Does it factor? How does it factor? x plus 5, x plus 2, which tells me that my solutions are what? x equals negative 5 or x equals negative 2. Now, you've got to be careful here. Your logarithmic functions have a restricted domain, right? At the beginning of this semester, we talked about two main things that restrict your domain. You can't have a 0 in the denominator. You can't have negatives inside your square root. Remember that? The other restriction that we're talking about now is with logarithms. With logarithms, the inside has to be positive. Look at the definition that we have. So look at these expressions. x plus 3 has to stay positive. x plus 4 has to stay positive. So that means here, when I'm talking about my restrictions, so the negative two is the only one that will work. x has to be greater than negative 3, and x has to be greater than negative 4. But look at my numbers. Does negative 5 satisfy that? Wait, where did when we talked about the domain for the logarithmic functions, the inside must be greater than 0. The domain was 0, not inclusive, to infinity, which means this guy has to be greater than 0, so it has to be greater than negative 3. This has to be greater than negative 4. Now, is negative 5 greater than negative 3? So what are we going to call this guy? This guy is going to be extraneous. He just he doesn't work out. Does negative 2 work out? Yep. It should. So if I check this, if I do log base 2 of negative 2 plus 3 plus log base 2 of negative 2 plus 4, I get log with base 2 of 1 plus log with base 2 of 2. What's log base 2 of 1? 2 to the what gives you 1? 2 to the what gives you 2? 1. I get 1 just like I was looking for. So how do you enter a base and log? Into the calculator? Yeah. It's a very good question. Not easily. Okay. If I want to type this in to get some kind of sense about what's going on here, suppose I wanted to graph this guy. I want to graph log with base 2 of x plus 3. You have to do log of x plus 3 divided by log of 2. You have to use that change so of base theorem. Without being in the y equals? No, I mean, you. Okay. Log, how do you put a base on it that's other than 10? You have to use that change of base theorem. He was asking, how do we put it in the calculator if it's not a, if it's a different base? We have to use the change of base theorem. So we said that, what do we say? Negative 2 is the answer. So if I take negative 2 and store it into x, I need to evaluate this expression. So log of x plus 3 
divided by the log of 2 plus the log of x plus 4 divided by the log of 2. That's how you're going to be able to type in log with the base 2. You use that change of base theorem. It's not pretty. And what you're going to find out is when you use um, other mathematical software, even if you're doing things graphing in one plot, you don't have to do a change of base. It has syntax for you to type in different bases. See, so my answer is 1. So it does check out with my original equation. <laughs>